faster, safer, cleaner. That's the Performance 3 promise. And this recommendation, number 14, is entirely about safer. For the most part, the 16 optimizations we are delivering are meant to significantly improve your bottom line. And from a strictly dollars and cents perspective, even mild injuries are expensive because good employees are hard to find and keep. Accidents that could have been prevented are not only costly, but from a moral perspective are inexcusable. Keeping safety your number one concern will naturally lead to profitability. And so here is one of the top recommendations we can make to improve your overall system. The first point to discuss is the need to actually use a dead man handle the correct way. A dead man handle should be held down to maintain operation of your blasting system. Too often, we visit customer sites and we see that the dead man handles are either not attached to the hose, you know, but are left on the ground, taped up, or the operator has a jerry-rigged setup where they use a roll of tape or a rock in their dead man to keep it operating without the need to hold it. Doing this compromises the safety of the operator and all the safety systems designed by the manufacturers to ensure your employees are safe. If your team uses any of these techniques to trigger their dead man, you should research different dead mans to make sure they use them correctly. If you upgrade to an electric dead man, your operator will reap a five times faster response time. If you have an accident, every microsecond counts. If a blaster trips while they are blasting and they let go of the hose, the dead man is designed to stop the blasting. All blast equipment manufacturers state that if you are blasting with over 100 feet of blast hose or 40 meters, you should use electric dead man as the response time is instantaneous. With long hoses, pneumatic dead man are too slow in their response to immediately depressurize the hose. Simply put, this is dangerous. Electric dead mans are also more reliable in climates where control freezing is sometimes an issue. In this example, you can see an extreme example of what happens to a blast hose when it's released while still pressurized. It's lethally dangerous. We see a lot of dead man handles being uh, misused. My message to you is please do not override your dead man system. It's there to save your life. I had a customer who had an employee in the hull of a, of a ship and he had misused his dead man handle and they found him later that evening when everyone wondered where he was dead in the tank because it slipped the hose had slipped out of his out of his hand and the nozzle had gone right through his lungs he couldn't shut it off he couldn't get to his dead man handle to shut it off terrible i might i, I plead with you not to override your dead man handle the top owners and supervisors all realize this unspoken truth protecting your employees protects your business protecting your business protects your success.